It's important for all of us to occasionally remind ourselves to optimize on life as opposed to optimizing on our bank account. And the big decisions in our lives may have a big impact, but as a fee-only financial advisor for over 20 years, I have found that oftentimes it's a series of little decisions that have the larger impact. So let's start off, let's talk about some of these big decisions, and then I'll close by sharing some little decisions that I think can make a big impact in your life. The big decisions are hard to make, and you know, the first thing I wanna do is acknowledge that we can't always optimize on our life as opposed to our bank account. Clearly, when we're younger, we have a lot of time in front of us. We don't have much money in our bank account. So making that trade off of time for money, maybe even health, you know, taking a job where you have to travel more or you're going to have to work 60, 70, 80 hours a week. Um, that can be a smart trade off early in your career to get those experiences. But as we get older, as we approach what I call the youth of our senior years, I think we want to be much more critical about those trade-offs and make sure that we're getting something of value um, as, so that we're not trading something that's important for us for something that might not be that important for us. So let's talk about some of these big decisions. You know, I mentioned earlier uh, about working 60, 70 hours a week. That's a big one is how many hours a week that, that you're working and do you need to work that many hours in order to provide a lot of value for your company. It often feels like we do need to do that, but the reality, here you can hear a train behind me, I'm in the Pacific Northwest. The reality is oftentimes we don't have to work as many hours as we think. So I wanna encourage you to, to guard your time, particularly the hours after 40 hours a week, after 50 hours a week, to guard that, that time closely. Another thing that can really steal a lot of joy from our lives and take us away from loved ones is travel. And do we need to keep a job where we're traveling a lot? Or are there other roles in the company that we could do, kind of graduate up to and be more of a mentor and a coach for the younger road warriors? Um, okay, another one. Some projects, we all know this, are more stressful than other projects. Some, some projects are mission critical to the company. And it feels great when you're a super person uh, and you, you lead that project for the company and you do a great job at it. But it comes at a cost. And as we get older, are we willing to pay that cost? And if we are, what do we get for that? What does our family get for that? And just, you know, it's just so easy to, to chase the accolades of our career, to chase the applause of our colleagues, to, to, to chase uh, the attaboys uh, from our boss. But I just want to, to encourage you to think about that. And, and as you get older, maybe make the trade-off and say, you know what, this would be a fun project to do, but net-net in my whole life, the cost is just too high. It's just too stressful. It's too many hours. And it's just not worth that trade-off. Uh, and then another one is, you know, it's hard. We work hard uh, to do well in our jobs and we all want promotions. We all want more responsibility um, and, and to, to get a raise, uh, to get a nice bump in our salary. Um, but sometimes as we get older, maybe it's time to say, you know what, enough. I'm not chasing that next promotion. So these are the big decisions. And as I said, these big decisions can be really challenging. But let's talk about the small decisions that can be easy to do and can really move the needle. And the first one is vacation. Pew Research reports that almost half of Americans do not take all of our paid time off, our vacation. That's just startling. It's startling, but you know, candidly, I have to admit since the pandemic, I have not taken all of my vacation every year, right? I mean, early in the pandemic, it was hard to travel. It was hard to do other things. Um, and I just, you know, frankly, I, I get a fair amount of vacation and I just haven't, I've been at one company for over 20 years and I just haven't taken it off. So my pledge uh, is in the coming year, I will take all my vacation. I wanna encourage you to do the same thing. It's just foolish not to do that. Another thing that I think can be super helpful, particularly as we get into our 50s, 
is to see if there's a way that we can somehow link together 30 days off in a row. And I know that's super hard to do, uh, but if you think about the vacation that you get and maybe you could take some time without pay, there's just something magical about being able to take a month off of work at a time. I suspect many, many, probably 90% of my viewers have not been able to do that for the last 20, 30, 40 years. Um, but I really encourage you to explore to see if that's a possibility. I call them um, mini retirements. And if you can string together 30 days in a row off, you can decompress, you can, you can take care of yourself, and you can, you can test out new passions. A lot of people just by default say, you know what, Asul, when I retire, I wanna travel. Well, I encourage you to do it. Uh, I, I've been fortunate, I have been able to travel. Uh, during the pandemic, the later stage of the pandemic. Um, and I enjoy it, but it's not for everybody. It, it can be exhausting, you know. Uh, the pandemic started when I was in my mid-50s. Uh, and if I was in my mid-60s, I'm not sure I would have had the energy to do some of the things that are required. Now, admittedly, it was harder to cross borders during the pandemic. There were a lot more hurdles in place, but try it out. If you think when you retire, you might wanna volunteer, at a local not-for-profit, if you can get 30 days off, if you can do what I call a mini retirement, try it. You know, see what it's like to, to work with the management team at, at your favorite not-for-profit or to roll up your sleeves and, and uh, work at the food bank or whatever your passion might be. Okay, another easy one, uh, it's easy in principle, it's hard to do and execute, is taking care of your health. I think we all can take an hour out of our day, every day, four, five, maybe seven days a week and take care of our health and go to the gym um, and, and try to eat more healthily and, and go to bed on time, right? Just taking care of our health. And this is one that I'm, I'm pretty happy with. I've, I've pretty regularly followed, I, I work out at least five days a week. so. I really encourage you, an easy one that I think most of us can do is just dedicate an hour a day to your health. And maybe for you, that's walking on, you know, I'm, I'm here in the Pacific Northwest. There's a beautiful sunset taking place behind me. Um, and so maybe it's just going for a walk in this beautiful um, location, or maybe it's lifting weights at the gym or running a 5K on the treadmill or outside, but taking care of your health. The next one that I think we all can do is surround ourselves by mentors, people that put us in the, the best state of mind. Um, and you know, you may not have people in your neighborhood that are, are really strong mentor potentials, um, but we all have access to books. We all have access to audibles um, from Amazon or whatever your book is of choice or from the library and get it for free. Um, there's just so much information. Uh, hopefully YouTube channels like this. So surround yourself with mentors. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. It doesn't have to be expensive, but just people that are gonna put you in the right mental state of mind for you to become the best version of you, whatever that is, okay? And then reflect, take time to reflect. As I record this, it's towards the end of the year. The days are short. Uh, the nights are long uh, and it, it's, yes, we all miss the summer, but it's also a great time to connect with people that, that you love in your life and take time to reflect what's working in your life. What do you want to change going forward? Be thoughtful and, and be deliberate. And this can be a great time of year to do that. And another thing this can be a great time of the year to do is, is watch this video up here where I talk about eight things to stop doing in order to enjoy your life more. I'll see you in there.